Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello, 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 hello. Good day. Just want to make sure everything's going good here. Yep, yep. Well, <clears throat> oh, man, how things tie together, how these crazy theories of yesterday are verified facts, really, and the things that are out today as rumors in many cases will be verified in the very very near future or maybe it'd be very so near it's going to be tomorrow so it's almost um super curious why do they keep creating the their own conflict why is so much conflicted news coming out constantly well it's it things are coming to a crescendo coming to a peak so to speak but many things have been underway for a very long time so this is from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, the famous slash infamous National Institute of Health, NIH, talking about Morgellons disease, a filamentous Borrelia dermatitis. So this Borrelia is something that, again, uh, can be transmitted as a co-infection with Lyme disease. Lyme disease is fascinating in and of itself. As you know, those that have done any sort of research or experienced it themselves will know that there are ties with Lyme disease to Plum Island. And in fact, Lyme disease is named for Lyme, Connecticut. And Plum Island is pretty much right across from Lyme, Connecticut. And Plum Island had the highest level medical research um, facility on it for infectious disease on the planet. Obviously, these, you know, putting two plus two together, it's not hard to figure out was this something that escaped or was released, you know, and, and ended up infecting tons of people and causing all sorts of havoc. And as somebody that not only had Lyme's disease themselves, but many family members, because I grew up in Connecticut, did a lot of hiking, did a lot of camping, and, you know, caught it. I had cousins that caught it multiple times. I had caught it when uh, I was hiking in January, you know, with snow on the ground. And actually, my uh, very strong five-year-old pit bull, uh, had caught it too, and he actually died from a co co infection, and he was a big, strong dog. So this article here: Did the U.S. Army help spread it and other diseases? Well, again, we've showed where there's declass declassified documents that show the U.S. military has sprayed its citizens well over two hundred times with different. Um, sorts of agents in different tests. You know, is there something inherently wrong with this? Uh, I think so. That's just my personal opinion. And I got a lot of articles here that are just going to get into uh, depth with this that we're going to give the links for, for everybody that wants to go in deeper. But I just wanted to read, uh, you know, a couple lines there. There have been allegations over the years that Lyme disease was a natural disease made worse by genetic manipulation. The focus of these accusations is Plum Island, just off Orient Point, Long Island, and six miles from the Connecticut coast. In 1954, research was influenced by the Cold War. Scientists began studying ways to inflict damage on Soviet livestock. The Cuban government alleges that in the 60s and 70s, bioweapons developed at Plum were deployed against Cuban agriculture, targeting pork, tobacco, and sugarcane. In surrounding communities, distrust of Plum Island runs deep. Lyme disease takes its name from a Connecticut town across from the island. Many wonder whether birds or swimming animals could have brought it from Plum Island. You know, it, it's just so sad what we see going on in the world. Again, the people, the powers, the beings that are giving us this, this global structure upon the planet are not in harmony with the planet, and they're not in harmony with us. It, it's pretty obvious they're not about promoting peace, safety, 
harmony and and health. And again, even when things are named something, quite often they're the exact opposite of what they're named. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I do want to thank our Patreons again. We couldn't do it without your support over at Patreon. Do check out Medicinal Foods. There's a link at the top of every um, video that will take you over there. And when you use the coupon code EEA, it does help support the, the family here as well as get you a discount. We see this over here. Oh, DARPA, that infamous organization, funds Soylent Green as empty shelves in USA are, are becoming the norm. DARPA is funding the creation of 3D printed food from mixed waste to be served when traditional food is unavailable. I wonder why it's unavailable. Well, food supply chains definitely buckling under the pressure of the dates for men and, and quarantines. And obviously, we have a shortage of people working in so many different industries, including trucking and health. And, and we've lost so many people from the military, um, as, as well as people that were working in the hospitals. People are just leaving the system because many people are waking up to the fact, I mean, they're being pushed out on purpose. They have to conform to something or they can't play ball. And then many are waking up and saying, I don't want to play ball with you in the first place anymore. We're, we're going to figure out something else. Absolutely. You know, I, I just want to go back and touch on the uh, Lyme's disease again really quick. And, and was, it, was it something that got away by accident or was it deliberate? And I can't help but think what else and who else has benefited from that being released? You know, look at, you got to kind of follow the money. So to me, I, when I follow the money, I, I got to say it's very deliberate. Well, again, when I got it, coincidentally, I actually was working for a pharmaceutical company and, you know, we had, probably 40 to 50 people that we were treating with heavy duty antibiotics um, that were suffering from Lyme's. And just what I observed was most of them got new co-infections, their immune systems got weaker and weaker, and they weren't doing so good. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it was a turning point for me. Um, I, I actually kind of fell into that position because of uh, family members that were actually working for this company. And it was at a time when I was uh, changing positions. And so it opened up and, you know, I never wanted to necessarily work for a pharmaceutical company, but they did actually pay well and they treated you well and the benefits were fabulous. But I, you know, at that point in time, I, I was awake, but not fully awake. And uh, it was a real learning experience for me especially seeing how many of the pharmacists themselves wouldn't necessarily uh, do what they were recommending. No, they <laughs> Honestly, don't. you know, mm -hmm. and, and I asked them that because we also had many people on chemo and asked them, okay, if you got it, would you do it? And, and most of the time it was met with blank stares and deep contemplation. And, and often it was a, I don't know. Right. You know, and it was interesting to see that, even though they were every day, you know, uh, routinely uh, filling prescriptions and giving prescriptions for maybe 50 to 75 people to receive what they were themselves not really sure if they would do. Mm -hmm. They were up in the air, most of them. Right, because I think they're on the front lines and they see more often than not what happens when you do take that path. So we see this article, Nano particles in your food yep you're already eating them what's engineered in a lab added to processed foods and never labeled if you thought gmos were mysterious try nanoparticles so you know this could definitely get somebody up in arms and when you look at the date on when this was published december 3rd 2012 mm -hmm. 10 years uh, pretty much ago they were talking about how it's already in our food in our food yeah, and, and our food gets irradiated, too, with radiation. We've mentioned that before. So, you know, I, I bring up this article because, you know, there's uh, some newer art 
articles that are coming out making the rounds now as people are really waking up in droves and seeing you know the bigger picture of what's going on there's video here for you guys to look at too as you see this this is from october 31st 2021 nanoparticles to contaminate entire food supply under the guise of food safety and we have uh this one also coming from mr jones on uh this was january 10th 2022 plant to spray magnetic on global food supply now it's what this has been going on for well over a decade mm -hmm. in reality this is you know been going on even longer and again we could go all the way back to the 50s to see you know what was being done um under the guise of attacking perhaps cuba in this way and making their food supply toxic or being able to infuse the people of cuba with something that later on they could use a different type of frequency to trigger. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This has been going on for a very long time. And one of the best things that we can do for ourselves right now is just be in that constant state of detox. Always, always doing something more for yourself every day to keep your system clean. Nanoparticles enable remote control brains via magnetic field. Hmm. Neural dust. Neural dust. Think about all those funny little cobwebs in the sky. Remember the Hopi prophecy of cobwebs in the sky. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think that it could be actually the uh, trails that we see in the sky. And all the debunking going on for years saying well, those are all just contrails. Yeah, right. Even though with my high power binoculars, I could see them go on and off. Mm -hmm. You know, and and they're not coming from the engines necessarily. Right. It, you know, it's just crazy. Of course, they they want to make you think that you're just, uh, you know, you're just silly, just silly. But then all the declassified documents verify it. There's been so much going on that's declassified and stuff that even never was classified. It was just straight out there if we would just read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real. You know, this smart dust, neural dust, nanoparticles, controlling brains. Yeah. These agencies like DARPA have been doing this right along. And there's so many scientific articles right here that are just stating plain facts if we'll just read it. Spray, di spray drying is a common process for converting liquid food products into dried and powdery form. In many cases, necessary to encapsulate bioactive food ingredients into a polymeric wall materials in order to protect them from harsh gastrointestinal conditions and to enable them to be stored and dosable in view of the rapid progress of nano encapsulation technologies in the food industry, nano spray drying is used to improve the formation formulation of bioactive food ingredients. And, I mean, this is just standard. This has been done. It is being done. And what is in there? Well, I bet you most of the people that are doing the spraying don't have a clue. Right. And you gotta, you can't help but notice they are doing this all under the guise of oh, we're protecting you. Always. It's always. As we know, this is an upside-down world. And here you see... <clears throat> Alien implants, now science fact, as DARPA invades the human brain. Yeah, and, you know, of course, many people won't have a problem with a cow or even your dog being microchipped and or branded. But how about humans? And how about people that are beings that are non-human viewing humans as their cattle in the first place? Yep. Because that's what we have. When we look back to the Anunnaki legends, they speak of humans being created to be a slave race for their masters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we had brought up yesterday, how often are we giving away our power and just going along with it, thinking that we're following God's will? And again, yeah. 
when we when we start looking at this, you know, thy will be done. Many people are doing they're saying prayers like this, thinking that they're speaking to or about the creator of the universe or the creator of all, the source of everything. But in reality, you know, being tricked to giving our freedoms and our will away to the Anunnaki slave masters, the Gigi slave masters themselves, mm -hmm. and those that want to integrate us with AI, those that want us to be just part of a Borg that will always be serving their masters. Always in com complaints. Absolutely. This, this is part of the bigger process that's going on. And the awakening that has to happen, as we see here, documentary evidence of covert electronic weapon and neurotechnology used by U.S. government on Americans. So, I mean, this is all in there. Then, you know, there's Department of Defense, Department of Justice um, links there. You could go read, you know, what is just straight out there. There was a plan to create a false flag event down in Miami and in South Florida in order to give us the pretext to go and invade Cuba. You know, that's been declassified. Mm -hmm. There's so much right here if people will just read and look. And those of you out there that are in full agreement and say, yes, I know all this. Well, keep sharing. Keep sharing. It's making an impact. You know, it's definitely not the time to shut up, even though it definitely puts a big bullseye on our backs when we speak up. But we see, again, neural smart dust connects brain and computer, wireless mind control. There's been so many comments of people out there having unusual accidents, behaving strangely. I wonder why. I wonder why. And again, this is out of NIH. All these studies are right there. This is science fact. This is not science fiction. All there. It's right there to be read. All these studies, again, National Institute of Health. By the way, investors want $2.5 billion in class action lawsuit over bears monsanto deal and again you know you have to wonder monsanto hmm, they're they're most definitely a frankenstein company what that company has done to people in different parts of the world is just it's staggering staggering and again why create gmo seeds that can't propagate again and can actually go in, mix in with food supply, and, you know, cause sterility. You ever wonder why sperm counts are down 60%? Why the human race is, is not able to propagate <laughs> and reproduce so easily anymore? It's obvious. We just could put two to two together and see what's going on and, and, and how, you know, the controllers are ready to, uh, you know, call the experiment on Homo sapiens done with. Mm -hmm. And then we have this article, How to Detox. We have three of them here for you guys to look into. How to detox and get rid of this stuff from your body. Again, in the first place, eat as much whole food as possible. It's loaded in the processed foods. And we've gotten from the guides that when you're eating at any of the fast food restaurants, you're getting far more than you bargain for. Absolutely. Those are things that you want to steer way clear. And I understand people get exhausted and tired and they're just hungry. But, you know, have have some, some raw nuts available. Have some carrots available. Really, it's worth avoiding that stuff. Have you have you guys seen the Kumado tomatoes? They're those uh, ones that look like an heirloom tomato. They're almost kind of purplish brownish. Did you know that they're actually that company is owned by a pharmaceutical company, a pharmaceutical company that actually makes uh, you know that thing that starts with a V. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 this web is so tangled. So, obviously, you want to eat as much whole foods as possible. 
you want to eat organic as much as possible. You know, so many times I'll see sales and I'll see I could get two or three times the amount of uh, strawberries if I don't buy organic. But I'll buy the organic anyway. It, because, again, I don't want to take in all the pesticides, all the chemicals that are cancer causing. And one of the things you could do is you could make sure you wash whatever veggies you have before you use them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's definitely important. You were re reading some different things on mm -hmm. getting rid of this stuff. Yes, absolutely. So you want to use nature's best to clear anything. Um, you know, something as simple as lemon juice, uh, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. And you spray that or you can soak it with a little bit of water and vinegar. Super simple to get rid of them. It's not hard. No, but just make sure that you do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then again, you know, many people say I can't afford to eat organic. You can't not afford to. And and again, the organic stuff itself is still probably uh, being exposed to things that we we really don't need or want in our bodies, unfortunately. So this is where, as we shift and time goes on. Having our own victory gardens in our own, you know, houses, apartments, properties is going to be imperative because you're going to want to know what you're putting into your body. And, uh, you know, there's other things you could do as well. Uh, boron and, and borax is, yep. is very, very um, positive. We will do uh, different. You, you got to constantly be detoxing, you know, again. Uh, doing intermittent fasting where applicable, everybody's different. Fasting again, as Microsoft wants to sync with us, and we say no again. Yeah. Um, all these things are are tools to use regularly. Um, one of the things too, uh, salt baths. You know, we'll Very take important. we'll take baths with both pink Himalayan salt and Epsom salt. Um, because again, you know, you want to maintain a certain amount of electric charge. You want to cleanse yourself uh, as well as possible. We always add trace minerals uh, into our our water. water. We're always adding wormwood to you know mm -hmm. to uh, help with parasites. Um, you know, there's a science behind Indian cooking. Things like cloves. Cloves is another one. Uh, Turmeric, ginger. Uh, it goes on and on. There, there's so many ways to help your body uh, function and, and purge the, the stuff it needs to purge. I, I personally find lately for me, it's been harder to do long fasts, but I love intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love going 20 hours between eating. It just feels so good. It, I, I feel myself rising up in vibration um, to just eat in like maybe about a four four to six hour window on most days, uh, I feel like it really is, is helping everything, all my, all my organ systems, you know, to cleanse. Well, it literally is. It's going inside of the cells and clearing out anything that isn't do you, doing you any good. So just like it feels to clean up your house and have everything put away, put in order, <clears throat> it does that for you internally. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar, um, again, keep yourself alkaline with um, food grade aluminum free baking soda, yep. Yep. Uh, boron, as we're talking about, activated charcoal, uh, glutathione as well, um, golden milk, you know. So you could add turmeric to whatever you like, if you like coconut milk, if you like wh whatever it is. Uh, turmeric, you could add some other stuff, like I was saying, Indian cooking uh, has so much benefits to it when it comes to the spice mixes, the masalas, cinnamon, clove, cardamom, uh, cayenne, whatever you whatever you like. Again, inflammation boost, uh, busting, and mucus buster as well. D3, K2, bentonite clay. Um, that's something again we'll utilize. Chlorella, and we put that in our shakes uh, along with spirulina. We'll add wheatgrass in and moringa in and we'll add maca in and um siberian ginseng and you will chia chia seeds are, are wonderful too mm -hmm. um you could take oregano oil uh daily 
uh, oil of cilantro. Cilantro is a heavy metal detoxifier, and most of us have too much heavy metal going on. And again, you could use food grade hydrogen peroxide as well, and you could wash your fruits and veggies with that too. That's another option. So we'll have all these links for you guys uh, so you can you know, help to cleanse yourself from all the stuff that they're constantly throwing in us. We don't know how much their technology has progressed, but the thought is that you know, that stuff has a, a limited lifespan in your body. And I know I went through a, a recent upgrade personally, uh, as far as my vibration and my frequency, you know, the energy body is, is rapidly growing in all of us that are avoiding certain things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I could tell the nanotechnology was, was wanting to get out of my body because it was very uncomfortable in my body as the vibrations raise up. Use intent to most definitely charge your food, you know, pray over your food, you know, and thank it and thank all those that, that made that food possible. And, you know, send a blessing to the spirit in that food as well, because everything is alive. Everything has consciousness. If you're eating, you know, a, a salad, it's full of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Recognize that. And, you know, if you are eating meat, again, bless the animal or the fish or the bird and and ask, you know, that its consciousness be raised as well for its next life. Absolutely. We've studied enough and we know enough things now. It's time to take all of those things that we have learned about spirituality and really put it to work. You know, practice, practice, practice. And with that practice, you become more and more enlightened. So it's just definitely so beneficial to create this and make it a part of your daily life little bit by little bit as much as you can meditating each day activates genes that fight off cancer and viruses and it's it's interesting i think um you know we we've gotten that viruses are not what you think they are they're not what you think they are at, at all not what we've been taught that they are they're actually part of the whole AI program in the first place. They're part of the whole draconian system in the first place. They're not really natural. These things have been introduced in order to uh, alter the natural. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're not truly alive either. You could think of them almost as, but they do have a sort of consciousness, but it's, again, a sort of um, imitation consciousness, just as they want to assimilate us into this Borg that is not from source, not from, you know, God with the big G, but something very, very different that wants everybody to be serving it mm -hmm. and, and, and its uh, agenda. So, you know, again, viruses are a tool that they use in this, and, and they're nothing that's actually natural at all. Um, extreme meditation retreat where participants practice for 10 hours a day uh, meditation led to significant changes to 220 genes linked to the immune system. Now, this is not to say that everybody's got to go meditate 10 hours a day. But again, it's an accumulative thing, just like exercise is accumulative. The more you practice, the more you build up and boost your system. The thing is the fact that meditation can override and change things that are going on in our system. We can override dis-ease with meditation. We can boost our immune system with meditation. We can bring harmony, restore harmony to our bodies and our minds, and ultimately to our souls with meditation. Absolutely. There's so <clears throat> much understanding and information behind meditating this is an ancient practice so this is nothing new nothing new at all but it's known and it's proved itself to be authentic generation after generation very important even if you can only get like a minute 60 seconds start somewhere scientists found spending a week in silent meditation appears to hold genetic benefits to help combat life-threatening diseases now, these participants followed a vegan diet and a regular sleep schedule during the retreat, and it was completely restorative. It gave them such a boost and a reset, and they collected blood samples 
five to eight weeks beforehand, immediately before and after the retreat, and then three months later, they discover genetic differences between the samples taken before and after the intense meditation retreat. Specifically, 220 genes linked to the body's immune system were more active after the participants attended the inner engineering meditation retreat. This included 68 genes that have a connection to interferon signaling, which helps the body combat viruses and cancer. So, yeah, this is the key, really. It's, it's all about our consciousness. Absolutely. It's all about us taking control, understanding that we don't have to settle for whatever they're putting in front of us. We have control over our reality. We create our own surroundings. That's key. So maybe, you know, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of yoga in the morning or of qigong, tai chi, something like that. And maybe 15, 20 minutes of still meditation or mantras at night. Uh, and it could do wonders for your, for your just your whole overall wellness. It can, and <clears throat> believe me, I understand people are busy. There's those that are raising kids, homeschooling, doing so much, and the the way you do that with with those situations is you have to prioritize it. You absolutely have to prioritize it. Go into the bathroom and take your five minutes. Go out to your car, take your ten minutes. Do what you have to do, but prioritize it. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe instead of taking a shower, just, you know, take a bath for a half hour. Yeah. And in the bath, maybe you just do your mantras. You know, you turn everything off. You pay, you don't pay any attention to the phone or anything. Light some candles and do some mantras or, or just some still meditation. Um, it can be as simple as just OM, just mm -hmm. chanting OM over and over. Just follow your breath even, you know, to a certain rhythmic count. Like an inhalation of four, hold it for two, exhale for four, hold it for two. Even just that can take you out of fight and flight and into the rest and digest side of the nervous system, which is going to help the body to restore and get you to stop producing cortisol and start producing serotonin and melatonin. So hopefully this will help you guys. You know, we, again, there's no profits in this for the big organizations the big companies out there that's why they don't push this right i mean there's <clears throat> zero profit in being able to heal yourself yeah exactly think about all the businesses that would go out of business if we could heal ourselves think about all those all those companies that are banking on disease mm -hmm. in order to bank for themselves or you know, boost their bank accounts right. and, and also control our consciousness. Yeah, and even go so far as to create the dis-ease in our daily lives. Absolutely. So hopefully you got something out of this. Make sure that you are, are subscribed to both channels, Evolutionary Energy Arts and EE Arts. And we're again also on Bitch, well, Bitch Shoot's an issue, but we are on Brightian and Rumble mm -hmm. as well. Thank you again for your support on Patreon, Ko-Fi, and Medicinal Foods. God bless and namaste. Namaste.